10, 10, 10. Size 10. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> We're here. Size 10 podcast. What is up? My name is Nick Scalzone. You can find me on Instagram at Nick Scalzone podca- uh, Comedy. Uh, oh, what's my handle? What is it? <laughs> it's it Nick Scalzone Comedy on Instagram. <laughs> Should I just start it all the way over? No. I, I'm no, keeping all of this. It's way funnier. You if can I find me around. at Nick Scalzone, uh, social media <laughs> dot com net. You yeah. know what? I post that about once every three months, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Bjorn RG. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Skate Cub. Still haven't updated it. And and, uh, uh, and then size 10 on all platforms uh, for our podcast. Yeah. And Bjorn, we have an amazing guest. Yeah. I'm so hyped uh, on this guest. Do you want to bring him up? <laughs> he um, started. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so our guest, he's, he's at Helium Comedy Club on Sunday night this week. This podcast is coming out on Friday. Yep. He's he's at Helium on Sunday. If there are tickets left and they're going fast, you better go pick them up. We have the amazing Mike Kaplan in the house. Thank you so much for having me and saying those things, especially the tickets. That's the main reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Th- thank you so much. You're very kind. Uh, I'm excited to be here. You're very nice people so far. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so we, um, yeah, we just kind of hang out. We were, we were both talking about how, like, uh, our history with, like, Nick hadn't really heard of you as much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I was a I was a hardcore listener in like 2012. My goodness, which is w- where I was just like w- I was impressed that you've even been doing the podcast that you've been doing as long as you have. So I I used to listen very religiously, and then I stopped unexplainably, and I don't know why. <laughs> I, I have I have a theory. Uh, yeah. it, it could be that the podcast that I was that I started in 2012, uh, I stopped doing in 2018, and okay. so maybe you stopped listening because I, I started it. doing a new podcast on a <laughs> different stream. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I was doing my podcast. Keith and the Girl uh, was the network that was producing me for most of that time, yeah. and then we had an amicable parting of the ways. I still love okay. them. They're my friends, and uh, they're still wonderful. Yeah. Uh, check out their podcast after you listen to all of mine and uh they i then started just producing my own uh, so now i have two podcasts one is called broccoli and ice cream and one is called the faucet though it's funny because the, my original podcast was called hang out with me and it would uh it, it now at this point there are over a million downloads of it oh, wow. and it amassed uh which is that, that sounds like a lot to me mm-hmm. uh and I, I only released a million episodes. So it's just one episode, one download per episode, just, I think. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And you have one super loyal fan. <laughs> yeah. He actually it's, has more time than there is. It's me, I think. Yeah. So yeah, I just uh, downloaded to make sure it worked. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised that you were listening as well. Were yeah, you yeah. Were you at my house? <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> but uh, the, so when I, I went back and looked at like the, 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 what do you call them? The stats, you know, yeah. the, mm. to see. E- ever s- even since I stopped release, I released the I stopped releasing. The last one was in you know somewhere early 2018. But then I was like, there's still six thousand downloads every month, or sorry, three thousand some thousands of downloads of that podcast that's not still coming out. Yeah. And I was like, so I was like, well, I guess I, maybe I'll just release a new. I, I'll put it okay. I, <laughs> so I started releasing new podcasts that are like, hey, why are you? Why are you here? You know, <laughs> will you go to my other podcast that isn't as downloaded as this one yet? Because I'm, I'm, I'm still making. I'm better now, and like, yeah, I'm, I'm there, and I'm making them. And uh, but yeah, thank you, uh, for for listening when yeah. you did. Thank you, Nick, for catching up in in recent weeks, as you <laughs> indicated to me. And uh, I'm happy to be. This is, uh, t- I'll be honest with you. This is your first podcast that I'm listening to uh, yeah. live as it. as we record That's it. Though totally fine. I will tell you this my understanding is that this is a a sneaker related podcast a shoe a footwear related podcast it is it is so i'm going to tell you this uh do you know jimmy pardo and the never not funny podcast yes uh fantastic uh hilarious gentleman uh super fun show to do i've uh thankful i got to do it a number of times uh, thus far in my life one time when i went in there uh, I had not bought sneakers in a while. I'm not. I'm not a. I don't know if you would say. I don't even know. Am, am I? I'm not a sneakerhead or a sneakhead yeah, yeah. or a, a shoe head or a foot head. Uh, <laughs> Just, I'm no kind of. I mean, I, I'm like a head head. I'm like a brain head, a mind head. You know, a yeah. spirit head uh, <laughs> or heart. Even I think. Yeah, I'm not like. I'm like a a heart head or a, a head heart. heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoes are something to keep your feet yeah, safe. Yeah, get you from point A to point shoe. You know, yeah. and yeah. But uh, so 
you know, I, I would often wear them until like, you know, they were gone, you know, like, mm. oh, probably I need new shoes because yeah. I'm no longer wearing shoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I, it must have been towards that end of the time spectrum that mm. I uh, I was in old Jimmy Pardo's uh, pod studio and on air, he, I think, uh, perhaps uh, probably <laughs> before and or he didn't he didn't let a lot go to waste. I think it was just recording from the minute he got in there and he's like, uh, oh, yeah, those shoes, uh, the, you could probably use some. Use some new ones, and <laughs> and so that stuck with me. And every time I get a new pair of sneakers, I, I actually I got to text him every time I think about him, and I often yeah. let him know like, hey, got got some new sneakers. Definitely every time I go on his podcast, I'm like, make sure to have new enough <laughs> sneakers uh, right. that he won't lovingly make fun of me in that way that time. But to think, I'm like, this time never been on this podcast before. Don't know what your what your style is. Don't know if I would have been roasted for having whatever kind of shoes I did but got these yesterday purchased Ooh. new these are this is the second day I'm yes. wearing these Hoka sneakers that my girlfriend just learned about this company maybe in the past year she got some for herself and she's like oh man they like they they have cushioning they like bounce they feel good they like they're good for moot they're good for moving around. I don't know yeah. if you, that's what, I'm a good sneaker reviewer. You know, you put them on your feet and you move and it feels good. Yeah. And so, yeah, just got them yesterday at Jack Rabbit uh, in New York. They, okay. my feet, they did like a 3D rendering they, of my oh, feet. Oh, I got, that's fancy. They emailed me about it. I know, I know we're not going to be on our phones during the podcast, <laughs> but I do have in my, in my email, yeah, but, the records of like how long my feet are, what my arches what? are compared to each other. They're approximately, I think one of my feet is like 9.1 and one of them is like 8.9 okay. so and they're like so you need a 10 that's, uh that's pretty that's pretty close that that gap bjorn bjorn has a yeah a larger gap than you between the size of his feet I, it's a size and a half Ma. it's like it's like one is like an eight and a half and the other is a 10 so you have you buy two different i i what do, do not do? have that kind of money <laughs> That's that's like the dream. That's the goal. So you just get big ones, like, and one foot's just kind of yep. swimming in there. This one's just like you can kind of you can see how they're tied differently. Like ah, one's a lot tighter. Yeah. And it's just it's always a it's a swimmer. This one's a swimmer. This one's a snugger. I guess. Uh, uh, <laughs> I like it. Ah. Well, in any event, I'm I'm grateful that you are having me on your podcast. And as such, I also I my shoes were falling apart. I think sometimes uh, my toe like if I don't trim my toenails with enough oh, no. regular Regularity, uh, depending on the material, like then they'll they'll wear through, yeah. you know, after some time, mm -hmm. and I'll be like, oh yeah, need some, I need some new shoes or uh, grooming habits. <laughs> right, yeah, like uh, that's an easy solve. Yeah. I so someone gave me shoe goo, and I used to use that when I because I was a skateboarder growing up, and I would destroy shoes, and I have not opened the shoe. I'm like, if I'm an adult now, so I just buy also a shoe collector. So mm -hmm. I oh, have, I'm an adult as well. Yeah, I have. So many other options. I, I don't, if a shoe is falling apart at this point in my life, I just move on to an, a that new is, shoe. That is one of the benefits of being like a big dork about sneakers is now none of my shoes ever wear out because I just, Rotate I don't wear any them. of them enough oh, for yeah. them to wear out. That makes sense. Have, Real quick question for you also yeah. before we get into, yeah. uh, I mean, really do a deep dive into <laughs> uh, sneakers even more so than this. Yeah. Uh, so first, so here I am prepared for the podcast mm -hmm. with these mm -hmm. new sneakers to talk about as much as I already have and I know nothing more. But, um, I, and these are a 9.5. I don't know if that, I didn't say that mm -hmm. part. They were like, you should get a 10. I'm like, why not a 9.5? They're like, well, you know, your feet <laughs> might swell if you use them too much. I'm like, they're not going to swell. <laughs> uh, my, my feet are going to be, I like, I like to go for a walk. I'm not a big runner, but I, I yeah. walk. But my question is, uh, how often do... Uh, people ask you, how often does the topic come up on the podcast of the movie Sneakers? Ooh. This uh, is the first this time. This is the first time. Are you serious? This, yeah. I mean, do you do you guys love the movie because it's great? I don't think I've ever seen the I've movie well, Sneakers. Well, either. well feel, then, oh, I think man. we're I actually know. terrible ha! sneaker I mean, podcasters, <laughs> to be honest. To be fair uh, and to be generous, like the movie is not about the footwear. It is mm. about people who sneak. It's like a, a comedy spy movie. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's it's okay. great. It's you know I'm I'm I think that I'm older than you with Robert Redford. That's hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Too. All right. Oh yeah, it's it's great. It's an enjoyable movie. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch this movie because now it feels like it feels like homework that I forgot to do. They were like, "Oh no, I didn't study for this test." Okay, cool. Yeah, I have seen this movie. I just didn't put that together. That's I didn't realize they were spelled the same. Okay, 
Oh yeah, the word uh, sneak. It's funny because sneakers, uh, the the footwear, mm-hmm. are not particularly sneaky in my no. like. If you're if you, like, I feel like ballet shoes, you <laughs> yeah. know, uh, yeah, or s- slippers. Yeah, <laughs> slippers. Yeah, is definitely. And they should. I don't know what. I guess that's a, a more apt name because they are. They could be slippery. They could. You could slip right. while you're mm-hmm. in them. But uh, you know, it was weird the first time that uh, that I heard someone refer to sneakers as tennis shoes. I was like, what a specific what? Right. Like, I mean, sure, yeah, you wear them, but that's not the only time you wear them. <laughs> like, how did tennis get uh, such top billing? <laughs> yeah, actually, I've wondered that too because, like, growing up, that's what my parents always called them. They never yeah. called them sneakers. They called them tennis shoes, and I didn't. I, it took me till I was like 10 plus years old to put together that they were saying tennis shoes and not tennis shoes. One, oh, one word. Like, like tennis. Tennessee. I was yeah. thinking yeah. it was just that's what they were. These are tennis shoes. And uh, that's just what they were because it was presented to me when I was four. And oh, that's just a fact. You know what word was like that for me yeah. or words? I thought mm-hmm. this, I thought this was one word. I thought it was one person named Adam and Eve. I thought, I mean, oh, yeah. like a one, ooh. Like that but, was just the original person. Yeah, just one person. I mean, because I mean, technically speaking, I mean, I didn't even know really the story of Adam mm-hmm. and Eve uh, at that point in yeah. my childhood. Uh, but I, I feel like even knowing the story, I'm like, oh, yeah, ma- it would make sense that this one person out of which came another person. <laughs> so it started Adam and Eve, then mm-hmm. split into Adam and Eve. Oh, so. yeah. I, th- I think that actually <laughs> adds more to the story. Thank I think, you. I think That's, they yep. should actually revise. <laughs> they should go back in there and add an like, amendment actually, yeah. yeah an amendment yeah <laughs> you can do an this addendum is, this in the is bible rev two right <laughs> you know we we had some fun ideas yeah the third testament fourth fifth <laughs> uh, where are we at <laughs> uh two fast two testament two yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i know yeah like how many of those two testament two old testament two furious yeah, <laughs> yeah. i love that oh man that's that's my favorite uh fast Three fat no, uh, too fast, too furious. That's like the. It's the best sequel name that there is, I, is. in my opinion. That is that the one where like Ludacris is on a boat. No, no, Ludacris doesn't show up for a couple more. I think. Oh, okay. yeah. No, I think he was in that. You one. You think he was he in was the on second one? I think he was in the second one because they had oh. Tyrese okay. as well. Okay. And they were in like Atlanta. I, I, I rewatched it recently, like but I, I've rewatched so, so many of them that I they all, <laughs> they all kind of. But it doesn't get. It gets really into high, uh, high gear, so yeah, to yeah. speak. Like the the first ones are like fun and kind of campy. Yeah. But like I feel like around four four or five, they they really uh, they level up. Yeah. <laughs> they they turn into like I feel like they're novellas, like telenovelas. A hundred percent. Like the, it's but like instead of dancing, they're driving. It's a uh, it's a. Uh, those are fun. I need to watch more of those movies they, too. I watched a couple of the old ones and then just kind of didn't watch oh, no, any like, others. I'm not yeah. like a big movie guy. Okay, believe it or not, I believe it because I'm over two <laughs> on, on movies we brought up. So <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, this story checks out. You know, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, strong. No. Yeah, uh, prove it to me. Tell me uh, nothing about the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think yeah. they drive. <laughs> you know? Drive a lot. My my girlfriend and I, uh, she had never seen any of them really, mm-hmm. and I had seen most of them, and so we started from the beginning. And her 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 basic review of them, we were really enjoying them. You know, yeah. for they yeah. know what they are, and we know what they are, and and enjoy enjoy what they <laughs> yeah, are yeah. If, if you want to. You don't have to. Nobody's nobody's making you. Nobody's <laughs> telling you. Like no. you have you have to watch sneakers, but you don't have to watch <laughs> the Fast and Furious movies. But uh, I think her review is she's like, oh, it's about cars and violence and family. You know, yeah, and family. Yeah. I oh, it's that. they. Yeah. It's like the uh, the Olive Garden. You know, when you're when you're watching those movies, when you're in those movies, it's your family. Yeah. Every, even like. Every Every movie, I don't want to spoil too much, but mm. often there's a, a villain in one movie, and then the next movie, they're a friend. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I was, we could all take a yeah, lesson from that. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> family. I, I do. One thing that I love about those movies is it's similar to the um, the Mission Impossible movies, mm-hmm. because I realized the other I watched the latest one, and I wasn't sure the entire movie if I had seen it or not. I, I have that experience so <laughs> you know, much. Like, whereas, like, did I just see a trailer or and and every other one of these? Oh yeah. The, <laughs> the good news about the Fast and Furious movies is like, I saw when I saw the most recent one, which I think is Fast. 10? 10? 9? I 10? think it's 10. I think, I think it's it, 10. I think we're up to 10. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> like, see, I can't remember. I, I couldn't tell There's you. at least, I think it might be 9. I think, it, <laughs> I think it might only be 9 so far. Is it Fast 9? And There was a one that was Furious something, and yeah, then yeah. the other one was Fast so something. They did Fast 5, Furious 6, 
then Fast and Furious 7, then yeah. Fate, F8. F8, okay. Fate of the Furious. I never put that together. Oh, they, oh. They, man, they, they've they kind of put it together. I mean, look, you're fine, but uh, <laughs> they, they weren't trying to keep it secret. Okay. Uh, they were like, hey, look for a, an Easter egg in the title of this movie. <laughs> They're like, if boy, you, are we clever. Uh, but... Uh, they they do so many oh, yeah, different F8. things every time. Like, if you if you were to, I honestly, I made a joke before I saw the most recent one, and I'm like, mm-hmm. man, what if they did this? And they did, and I'm like, <laughs> yep, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's... I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, no, uh, please don't. No, no, these <laughs> these movies are so complex. Ha, ha. The spoilers y- for these are just people are getting so yeah. mad. You know, uh, I wrote a joke a long time ago. Uh, here's. Two, two things, uh, both from my real life and from my jokes. My, I tell the truth of my jokes. Yeah. But uh, I wrote, when uh, when the movie Snakes on a Plane came out, mm-hmm. uh, I wrote a lot of jokes about it. 2006, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'd, I'd just been doing comedy about four years. And honestly, that was like when I felt, I, I started feeling like I was getting good at, at least, you know, I hadn't been good. And mm-hmm. now I'm like, oh, some of this is good. Yeah. And, uh, and like some of my friends who had been like, oh, you're good this is good. You know, like, oh, yeah. th- th- don't be so surprised. I'm like, no, no, it's, it's surprising. I'm like, now I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I wasn't, I wasn't good. Uh, and, and at that time I, I wrote like seven minutes of jokes about the movie snakes on a plane. And, and then I was like, what if I never write any good, what if these are the best jokes <laughs> I ever wrote? And this is the highest bar. <laughs> in January I was like, okay, so, hey, so the DVD of snakes on a plane just came out, you know, then the next, Hey, the anniversary of the DVD release. I'm like, gotta keep, <laughs> stick with these jokes. Uh, I have since written, written some, since written some jokes, but, <laughs> uh, that I that I enjoy. Uh, but snakes on the plane. Is still on... like that's still like your encore. I, that's like <laughs> your that's like your machine story. You got it. Okay. That's your yeah. machine story. And what is machine story? I want to ask. Oh, that's a yeah. uh, Burt Kreischer, the ah, comedian. I like, got I'm... at the end of every one of his sets, like he tells the same story. Of course, of course, and, of and course. And he's like he's stuck in having to do it now. I'm I'm now uh, I I'm shamed to admit that I have not I am not a full I have not writ- witnessed the full oeuvre of Burt Kreischer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, but uh, but big fan of everything that I have seen of him. Check check him out, everyone. Burt Kreischer, get yeah. all my stuff first. Yeah, but, no, uh, <laughs> he's gonna really need the bump from our podcast. <laughs> We're really helping Burt. Is out. he he doing okay? Okay, yeah, yeah no, okay. I think he's so yeah, he's on the up and he's coming up. Snakes know? on a plane. Here, the, the way I would that I would I, the, one of the first jokes I would tell. I would say, uh, I recommend seeing it, but bef- here's what I would say: try not to do because I I spoiled it. F- for myself because before I went I read the title and <laughs> so that's one and then Solid. other thing from I th- this is one this is actually oh man there's a this. there's a fun new thing mm-hmm. uh, that I'm about to share with myself I'm gonna I'm gonna get my digital recorder ready to record this idea <laughs> when I get there so there's a, a movie called the core do you remember yeah. the movie so yeah this movie the core uh, was about I think Hillary Swank was in it and uh, I don't know why but then it was like an action movie where they had to go to the center of the earth and like help I think re- I think the earth had stopped rotating yeah and they had to restart it and they were yep. like you know Armageddon style but into the earth instead of outer space right. and they had to and you know it was like different ones of them died in different ways throughout it because there was danger you know like it was right. like kind of picked off like deep blue sea style it was like yeah, everything yeah. you know like, yeah. and and so as I'm watching the movie, I, I'm i like, I think I know what's going to happen next. And it did. And then it kept happening. I was like, oh, my God. I think that thing's going to roll over that person's leg and they're going to get stuck. And then they're yeah. like, oh, no. And then it, and I was like, oh, maybe I saw this movie already. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm not a genius at predicting the plot. Maybe I'm the opposite of a genius because I forgot my own experience. And the yeah. new aspect of it is I'm like, I think that's a joke I tell, but... At, at some point in the past, but I'm like, I also don't know. I'm like, I don't even know if I've done that joke or if I've only had that experience and told people about it. And then I'm like, maybe that's a joke I tell. Maybe it's about a movie that I definitely have seen or maybe haven't. This feels like meta humor. I'm, I'm, I love I'm a it little so lost. Much. Oh, I think you're right on because you found it. It is meta humor. Yeah, yeah, that's one. I'm sorry if you. No, it's okay. Only straight ahead humor from now on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's totally fine. <laughs> you have glasses that seem like you would. Uh, I feel like meta humor is I for do, those. I, yeah. But you I do have that hat as well. So you're yeah, like, you're right. You're like, I tread. I tread a fine line. Half now. trucker, half bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That's actually fully me. So, <laughs> Yeah. I love it. So uh, before the podcast, we were talking about how I um, 
I was like, oh, there's this like really cool thing. And then I, I feel like such an idiot. I was trying to explain it to Nick mm -hmm. from listening to your podcast. Cause I, I was, I was like obsessed with it. Like right at the same time as I started comedy in 2012. And I was still trying to figure out like, Cause you're just like frantically like, I don't under how do jokes work? Like, what are you doing? And you're just yeah, like, like listening well, to both things. of us kind of learned, like both of us kind of learned a lot about comedy from podcasts and, and like it be, was different yeah, podcasts, yeah. but it was like comedy podcast was how I got into comedy was just sure being bored at work for years and years. Just comedy podcast. That makes a lot know? of sense, which is also, I mean, kind of a, perhaps a blessing and a curse or at least mm -hmm. uh, a, a boon to, it didn't used to be like there didn't used to be comedy podcasts. Like it used right. to be to start comedy, you just had to start or yeah. Yeah. like take a class or stumble into a th like there was very there was less opportunity for mm -hmm. ways ways yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, but just a, a real quick fun thing that just happened for me is uh, the way that you were just saying that here. I'm going to do a brief impression yeah. okay. of, oh, uh, of you a few moments ago, Bjorn. <laughs> uh, so when I, I was starting to do comedy. And I was listening to my podcast. And, you know, you're like frantically like, how do you tell jokes? And I was like, me? I'm like, <laughs> I mean, me? I am frantic sometimes. Oh, and sometimes I'm like, how do you tell jokes? And then then it became clear that you meant like the the royal oh, you. One, <laughs> yeah. one who starts comedy. Oh, yeah. But you're it's frantically you're, telling jokes. I mean, and now I'm understanding. Yeah. Oh, I'm listening man. to your podcast. And I'm like, <laughs> how do you tell jokes? <laughs> How do yeah, you? Yeah. I was just listening to a yeah. lot of podcasts. Of course. And, I, and yours was in the rotation for me. And I remember this very specific experience. It came back to me when I started listening again. And I was like, oh, my God. I learned about how callbacks work from listening to your podcast. My goodness. Which it was like I understood the cons. I'd heard callback. I didn't. And I kind of I'd seen them, but I hadn't really. But it was from listening to you because you are like a brilliant at callbacks especially in your podcast and you're constantly calling me and i was like i thank you so much and what how. is a, what is a callback <laughs> okay please <laughs> yeah. i don't know i just no, had that thank thought, you and then nick was making fun of me for not huh, understanding i wasn't making fun of you uh, and then i was like is this a insult or a, i don't know you know <laughs> like, i i did a podcast once with a couple comics from i believe baltimore i was performing there sometime mm -hmm. like more than i'd say more than five years ago uh, less than 10 years ago. The Jewel of Maryland. I love, love it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I love uh, the beautiful documentary, The Wire. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I was I was with these guys, and one of the comedians was like, how do you do callbacks? Like, I don't, oh. they're like, you know, they're both funny people. Mm -hmm. They're both yeah. good, good comedians. But one of them was like, I truly, like, I, I see other people do it. I don't understand, like, mechanically. Like, and the other two of us are kind of like, we don't really understand how you don't understand. And so we're, right. we're like, well, okay, so you, one of the thing, if you say something, then like later, you, <laughs> it's not that you just also say it. It's, you don't just say it again, but kind of, there, there's some, kind of you do, kind of <laughs> yeah. later, if you're like, this joke's also about that, like you tell part of, and we're like, we're like, okay, so let's say you talked about pasta, then later it's just like, be on the lookout for any opportunity to bring pasta up again. <laughs> and we're like, you know, bring up your pasta experience, like something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I tried to make pasta sound like pasta, like bring up your pasta experience, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I bring up your pasta experience, and then, you know? Uh, and that wasn't necessarily a callback because we're just in the middle of one thing. But uh, yeah, it's, you know, I sometimes feel like, uh, like when I when I've uh, if I go on a, on a show after someone else on the show, mm -hmm. and they have told a joke or a story that is like funny to me in a way that if I'm like, oh, I see a way that I could like reference that, yeah, like uh, I feel like that's always in some ways I feel like comedians might be like it's easy, uh, it's if you see how to do it, it's like right. it's it's simple. There, there's a there's a simplicity to it, but it's so it's so wonderful how it makes people because it's so unexpected yeah i feel like a callback at the beginning of your set to something before because it's like it's like you're a different movie and they're like what well, we were that's not even the same movie. Yeah. how did how did that guy and it's just so i i love i i love the that there is the capacity to do it and yeah. so thank you for thank you for listening and sharing yeah yeah absolutely. i feel like one of my favorite examples of of what you were just talking about that Please. I've seen is last year in the Portland's Funniest Contest. Remember, uh, so two, I'm going to name two Portland comics, James Hardenfelt and Ben Harkins. Ben followed James. Oh, the Har Hars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> so James did his whole set. He did this. It's one of the funniest things. He, he basically just goes out and says, this is a great crowd over and over and like continues to elaborate and make that insane. Cool. And so then, and it's, it's like five full minutes of just, this is the best crowd. And then it just goes crazy. Mm. And, and like things about the crowd and whatnot. And so it's, it's like abstract art and it's brilliant. And then Ben comes out following him and just like stops and looks at the whole room and then just goes, this is a good crowd. And the whole fucking place oh, lost their mind. Yeah. And it was like, that's. He got like a standing ovation. Oh, yeah. It was. And it was the only thing that you could say. Oh, like, yeah. it was the best possible thing for him to say. <laughs> and it was like, it was one of my favorite examples of that. That's beautiful. And he, uh, didn't he go on to win? Uh, or second place? Uh, something like that. Yeah, he, second he or third. Well, he, he won. Yeah, he, he went on to almost win. <laughs> almost win. <laughs> Adam Posse won. No, he didn't. No, uh, Kelly. Kelly won. From LA. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, that's like some local. That's uh, that, yeah. I mean, it was a local cut, but like it was oh, a yeah. perfect example of that. I, I think you you did a great job <laughs> oh, explaining hey, it. Yeah, yeah, I I no, totally it, get it. It means yeah. a lot, Mike. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I and I like that it didn't really like spoil. It didn't spoil anyone's anything. Oh, I didn't want to. I did yeah. a good yeah. job of not. I would have just oh. been like, okay, and I would be doing. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't know if Hardenfeld's <laughs> joke is is public record, but mm-hmm. if it is. Everybody type that in. It was somewhere on YouTube because it's fucking fantastic, but I'm not going to, obviously not going to do it. I'm a non piece yeah. of shit. So <laughs> he's, a, he's a friend of the podcast. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the shoes a little bit more. I'm like, of course, they I, are the first hokas that yeah. have been on here. Nice. So which, these, which hoka is this? Uh, that now, now, should I take it off and look at it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's, so let's we it. need to We're investigate. We're on Twitch. We can show you. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, we got Hoka, soft and light for every day. That that can't be. So we got. I a, see W two fifty. Oh here. yeah. So on the on the side of the shoe it says five. Oh, so it's S three four times two two. I don't know what that's about. Uh, then we got V six five five W two fifty, and uh, inside uh, may be covered by. Pat. That looks like them. What do you think? Uh, yeah, that, uh, that absolutely. There they are. I don't know how to yeah. zoom out. Hang on. Ha, ha, ha. But yeah, that, that looks like it. Oh, ha, ha, keep going in, in, in. Eventually we we're like on see, another We need planet. to see the texture. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I'm so so are these ha, 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 ha. How far in can you go? <laughs> yeah, wow. This photographer really like, you know. Yes. Oh, that product photographer. Yeah. Those are my sneakers. Nailed there it. There they are. So yeah, what's your? You said your review of these is they 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 fit on your feet and uh, you can walk. Yeah, so I went into I went to the store with my girlfriend, uh, and they you know they they shaped they gave me the shape mm-hmm. of my foot. Yeah, they did. They, they made a CAD model so that when you're replaced by a robot, they've got it on file. Exactly, That's tremendous. <laughs> All right, and good start. Yeah, the uh, I tried these. Like I tried a, a like a New Balance pair that was a similar deal, and then one other brand that I forget. And they brought they brought me a nine, a nine point five, and a ten. And these are the nine point five, uh, which is what we figured would be the way to go. And these are the first ones that I put on. And I'm like, oh yeah, they they feel good. And I walked around. The only thing when I was walking at initially, I felt like my heel was kind of like going up and down a little bit. And my girlfriend was like, oh, is there like more, can you get it further back? Do we need a smaller? Is it bigger? But uh, and then there's also this the the end. You can see like the 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 heel there's mm-hmm. it goes up like way more yeah. than yeah it's uh, a little, like, like be, shark fin by right the there. heel yeah it absolutely looks like a shark fin and like that's not the part that was I I don't know exactly what was going on with it but now since walking around yesterday I'm not I'm you know it's just like I think it's that it's a little they're stiffer because yeah. they're newer mm-hmm. and my last shoes were a little bendier and so it's just like <laughs> my feet aren't as stiff as the shoes oh. uh, and so my feet were like you know kind kind of used to being a little loosey goosey uh, <laughs> but the shoes are like we're tight tidy whities you know yeah. uh, tidy tidy uh, not not white uh, these are t- bl- tight black shoes and uh, yeah but uh, they definitely feel uh, it, it feels good I feel like it used to be when I would buy shoes it would kind of be like maybe the opposite of a haircut you know sometimes I would get a haircut uh, longer ago and it would look great coming out of there and then i would never be able to replicate it right you know? they like they style it yeah and they you're blow just like... dry it they put stuff <laughs> in it they <laughs> yeah. they make it look beautiful they do a yeah. great job but now i'm like don't put anything in it don't like just <laughs> make it look good like i can make like just make it like just cut it so it can't move and then <laughs> yeah. the goodbye whatever you yeah. do teach me how to redo that <laughs> yes yeah. uh and so uh, it, I, but it used it used to be 
it look good there and then home i'd be like ah oh, what did i what did i do totally. what did they do to me and uh, what, what i didn't speak up but oh no it's like somehow <laughs> slanty now but what did they what happened when they watched it different than when i watched it but i feel like these shoes often the experience used to be when i'd try a new pair of sneakers on i'd be like ah it feels like kind of tight because they're not broken in yet yeah. and so i'm like i guess i just have to hope that they will <laughs> right. feel good. Like, you know, like, you're, oh, you get the it'll shrink or whatever, the yeah. equivalent of shoes. And these only marginally, I, I feel like I, so just just for like the first half a day, I was like, well, maybe it'll just feel stiff forever. But uh, half a day <laughs> later, I'm like, nope, we it's, it's softened up. It's going great. Or, right. or my feet have stiffened. <laughs> <laughs> did you have like, do you have like a go-to or a, did you have any sort of, st- Sneaker that you repeatedly bought or a brand that you were a little more loyal to than others? Uh, that's a, I think I did New Balance for a while. Okay. Pardon me for one moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and the last shoes that I had, I don't remember what kind they are because my girlfriend picked them out and my mom purchased them by per her... Uh, send it like just online so they just arrived and I put them on and don't even you know they're so far away from my eyes I hardly even look at them <laughs> uh, but yeah I would say I, I w- the answer is yes I definitely for a while I, I went to Jackrabbit uh, the sneaker store just mm-hmm. down the street from where I live and I would get once I had one pa- I don't and uh, so here's the thing I don't know what kind it is. So that seems like a great follow-up question. <laughs> but there, the answer is yes. I did have one that I'm like, just give, I know that this will feel good, so just give me this or the equivalent of this yeah. again. And I did that for years. Well, most of the, I, I mean, I can't keep the the um, New Balance straight. They're all just numbers. Yeah, mm-hmm. there are a lot of numbers. It's just like, oh, this is the 997. Oh, well, that's actually the 996. It's like, I don't know why. Well, and they go beyond what? that because there's totally like different. eight different 997s. Yeah. So they, mm. they really don't make it easy. Oh, yeah. I got the uh, 8675309. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad to even know the name of the ones that I'm wearing now because uh, it's written really big on the side and I yeah, can read these, it. These yeah, these people do a much better job of the marketing Hoka. on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have it. I see these a lot. I have not tried out a pair myself. I see them a lot in Portland. Uh, there's a lot of hikers, and I feel like yeah, it's they're like, like they they to me look kind of like a trail running type of shoe. Mm. And I think I know they're like a running. I know like runners are stoked on them. Sure. So are you, stoked on hokas. Are, yeah, <laughs> stoked on the hope. Hang out at a hoka bar. I yeah. I, I can't I can't say that's so funny. Uh, there's just a bar with uh, people all wearing <laughs> sneakers. They like look at your shoes the way like when you go into a sneaker store they do. But they're just like, uh-huh, I'm gonna stop you right there, <laughs> Nike. <Yeah>. Uh. <laughs> and also, if you go there thinking it's a hookah bar, they shame you for your health choices. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Or is it uh, hookah hoka? Oh, the hookah oh, yeah. hookah bar. <laughs> Where you can run, but then also smoke. Yeah, but th- this is what the market. That's is. that's actually Portland, right there. <laughs> oh yeah, this I mean, would get... be a thriving business where I live. Run, but also Northwest smoke. Portland. Yeah. yeah, a hookah bar right right next to a trail. From the city that brought you, we have the most bookstores and strip clubs per capita. Now yeah. a hookah hookah bar. <laughs> I it's mean, they're literally in my neighborhood. <laughs> in my I'm neighborhood, just... there is a store that <laughs> sells running equipment, but also has a, a tap Weed? room. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> like, literally, there's beer on tap and, like, a, a section that's a bar, and the rest of it is running shoes and equipment. Don't, aren't there some gyms or, like, health clubs that have, like, an, a bar where you can buy alcohol sometimes? I, I bet that. So. I bet the Multnomah Athletic Club does. That's that one that costs, like, a hundred grand to start your membership. It's one of them oh, swanky no. ones. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think you got to wear a suit there. <laughs> so I'm, I'm while good. you're on the treadmill yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i think i think you, you walk quite slowly work out in a suit <laughs> no but like briefcases. like you literally have to wear one to get in the door there's like like a, a fancy dress restaurant code. they don't even give you a, a blazer yeah there's <laughs> like a dress code when you're not actively working out That's, or something i don't know i'm not I, a member i believe but, it yeah but yeah i've heard some funny stories about that joint it sounds like here's a i i in in uh approaching my trip to portland mm-hmm. i looked back through some of my old uh, tweets and mm-hmm. I like searched for uh, tweets that I tweeted about Portland and the experiences that I've had here and the things that I thought about it. One that I found uh, and reshared was, uh, you know, I can't believe that they 
created a whole town uh, based around the show Portlandia. But uh, <laughs> like truly, it does seem like I mean, there are things that are on that show that you're like, wow, I can't. Can how do they make that up? And you're like, oh, that one's real. Okay, wait. Uh, and so it's tr- it truly is. Ima- you know, if you can imagine it, somebody might have done it. It's. In Portland. It, it, it kind of is. It kind of is. And that's like one of the things that's awesome about it. It's like it's kind of oh, makes it. it fun. Yeah. <laughs> but, you yeah. know, yeah. At I, the same time, though, like Portland is a lot more normal than than it gets credit for. Oh, sure. Like I, I would say on the flip side of that is like you can like it's none of that's ne- none of that is like required. If oh, you sure. Live here. Oh. Like there, you don't you don't get issued a bicycle with a big front wheel. Yeah, like, a penny farthing. Is that what that's called? <laughs> oh yeah. You see, there you go. I've lived here for five years, and I did not know that was a penny farthing. I mean, but you've ridden one, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I have now. If, if, no. if I may, uh, do you know why they're called a penny farthing no. bicycle? No. So a penny, you're familiar with the coin. Mm-hmm. A farthing. Got a couple of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, 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 I'll let you put your hey, two cents in. Hey, to be a high roller. Big over. timer. <laughs> All right. Uh, I roll those pennies right yeah. down. Oh, no, the sewer. Okay. So a, a farthing, as I understand it, in either England or maybe here, it used to be, uh, or perhaps still is somewhere, a different kind of coin. I believe a bigger I, one of them is big and one of them is small. Mm. So that if you put the penny and the farthing side by side, it would look like the wheels uh, of a penny oh, farthing bicycle. Cool. Also, uh, do you know the comedian Shane Moss? Yeah. Shane Moss. Oh. Uh, uh, we're following the same pattern of uh, you know him, and uh, you start <laughs> listening to his podcast, Nick. Uh, <laughs> get him on here. Uh, yeah, he's right. uh, one of my dear friends. Started out doing comedy in Boston right around the time that I did, and uh, used to live in Portland. Lived in Portland for a stretch, oh, wow. uh, and uh, just for a couple of years. So you might have missed him. But uh, he here's just a joke of his that's about bicycles. I know this isn't a bicycle podcast, but we're talking about right, bicycles now. Let's do it. Uh, just a, a fun, w- a joke that I always love thinking about. So he ta- has a joke about recumbent bicycles. You know those mm-hmm. kind of like you're lying down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you yeah. for the act out. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is nice to be on a video show. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so he's like, uh, recumbent bicycle. I don't know how it gets into. It. He's like, yeah. uh, you know, it's like my back hurts, but at least I look stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a fave. Oh, that's awesome. Shane Moss. Everyone, check out yeah. his podcast. He's got two. One's called Here We Are, and one's called Mind Under Matter that he is, does with Ramin Nazer. Is that the artist that did your? Ramin uh, Nazer is the very artist who has made both of my podcast logos and at least one of my album covers. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah shout out to him. Yeah. Oh I yeah. I follow him on Instagram. Oh so yeah. Ramin Nazer is a fantastic follow. He makes beautiful yeah. visual art. And it's and then it's like and it's it's I don't know. It's like good. Good word. Message. Good mes- I was yeah. like, how do I describe it? It's very good. Uh, pic- picture and good <laughs> words <laughs> too. Good yeah. words. Picture worth Just, thousand. Oh me God. not have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. His beautiful philosophical, you know, yeah. sort of about art and creativity and life and death. And then, you know, beautiful rainbow colors most mm-hmm. frequently. Yes. Yeah. That's rad. Definitely yeah. check it out. For your, your broccoli and ice cream podcast, did you sing the, the theme song yourself? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Because I've been listening to some episodes and it definitely got stuck in my head. Oh, so thank I was you. I wanted to know whether or not yeah. I, I kind of I'm the one. <laughs> I did it. There you go. You, you yeah. So. I did the my other my podcast the Faucet as well. I did the theme song for that. And uh, I have my friend Zach Sherwin, uh, who is another uh, dear friend, fantastic comedian, and more. He has a show called The Crossword Show. That if it's ever anywhere near you, uh, go to it. It is okay. one of the most beautiful artistic uh, performance pieces that I've seen. It's comedy. Music, trivia, a crossword puzzle is solved in the course of the show that he has co-created with someone. Oh wow, uh, that sounds fun. Oh, it's it's really great. <laughs> it sounds very Portland. Too. <laughs> yeah, oh. no, that that'll that'll sell out. It would do Portland. amazing <laughs> here. Sell out a whole week. And sell the fucking motor <laughs> center with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, Zach and I have together over the years, I think, to, uh, recorded together and separately, but mostly together, about a dozen different podcast theme songs for different podcasts. And we're thinking of uh, releasing an album that'll be about a minute long uh, <laughs> or a cu- probably a couple minutes yeah. uh, with all of the podcast themes that we've done. In fact, my first podcast, Hang Out With Me, uh, I did the music for it and he did the lyrics. Uh, and there was, if I can, if, if I may, do a, a rending, yeah. a, ren- a oh, rendition or a rendering. Do. Uh, of, do a rendering. Of yeah. It, so the, here's the 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 conceit of 
the the way that my first podcast worked was I w- we had a conversation for about 45 minutes about anything I said it would be anything that was fun, meaningful, both or neither. Just want to cover all the bases. <laughs> and uh, and then we would do a 10 minute bonus episode that was uh, ostensibly a recap. It didn't always work out that way. It was just a fun, you know, bonus bit. Yeah. But uh, so for the recap, it's one of my Zach is a a rapper, among other things, and a, an amazing lyricist. And I think here is. So the, the podcast is called Hang Out With Me, and here is the, the lyrics, if I remember correctly, for the recap podcast theme song. He says, uh, to the Kaplan fan clan back for more, prepare for, for a show recap in capsule form. We, get, we take another deep pass. We, get, we take another brief pass at the POD cast. Now hang out with Mike on Hang Out With Me Fast. And oh, It was so called Hang course. Out With Me Fast. Yeah, it was, it's hard to do. <laughs> That's all right. awesome. He did it better. <laughs> From now on, all our guests have to bring some bars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they can be written by your friend, but you got to have bars. Yeah. <laughs> big big bar fan. <laughs> big bar fan. Oh, man. Yeah, I've had the song. Your, your, your theme song stuck in my head, but uh. I keep... Messing up all the words. Oh, like I switch bars. broccoli and ice cream and then just like laugh at myself. <laughs> That's alone, nice. you know. <laughs> oh, it's fun to do. Like, bars actually brings us to one of the things that we routinely talk about oh, yeah. on this, which is rap music. Please. Um yeah. <laughs> and, and really this is all getting to another thing, but we talk about rap music and there's this recurring theme in rap music where rappers talk about uh blowing a lady's back out. <laughs> and we really just started talking about that because we realized that they said it a lot, and we're like, "That's it's like very like, aggressive." It's like, really? That's Blowing a, a lady. It seems like actually out. it would be a tough sell. Like, <laughs> hey, this is gonna be one night, and you're gonna be injured severely. <laughs> oh yeah, like, no, no yeah. thank you. That's I know. Like, I, I it's mean, more of a caution from your friend. Yeah, it, than it, it actually is sounds like, like a invite. warning. <laughs> it's like a warning. I mean. But, Maybe it's like a peacocking thing, you know that? Like yeah. uh, mm-hmm. an- another old Shane Moss joke. Yeah. Uh, Shane has a, a special that was on Netflix for a while, I think might be on Amazon now, yeah. called Mating Season, I believe. Mm. And it was a lot about uh, the science of sexual selection, among other things, and that, you know, in the animal kingdom, like mm. in the human kingdom, yeah. uh, queendom, uh, <laughs> serfdom, um, <laughs> The like the peacock, the male peacock, uh, peacocking is named, of course, for mm-hmm. the male peacock, like showing off yeah. to impress yeah. uh, the gender you're trying to attract. Uh, and the idea is that the peacock, like, would normally like all those feathers that are so colorful, would mm-hmm. attract predators, and that's the that's why they're doing it. They're being like, look, I'm I'm so brave that I can mm-hmm. eat, I can do this, I can risk death. I am not afraid, and so mate with me. And Shane's joke, he would be like, uh, the the male peacock's like, look at all my nonsense, you know? <laughs> and then the lady is like, oh, Shane, look at all his nonsense. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I feel like that. That perhaps the rappers who are bragging about how during sex they <laughs> injure their partner yeah. because of how vigorous it is or what it, whatever it might be. <laughs> like, like maybe there are people who are like, mm, what's that? What's that about? But they're like, oh, well, I'm going to get injured. But if they're so attracted to the person like they're like, maybe that they're like, look, you you you, you know what you're getting into. Mm. You may get injured, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> it'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm here to tell you I don't don't think it has to be. Don't you? I, don't, you don't have to do that. Yeah, that's no, definitely the seems... longest tangent from us introing this. I definitely <laughs> no, that's that's fantastic. I really have always wanted some people to run with it, and you ran with it. Thank oh. you, thank you, Mike. Bye. The other thing, the other thing that we bring up here, and this is all leading to a question that's vaguely related to these two things. I accept. Is uh, we talk about pickup trucks a lot. Ah. We're both from Montana. Oh, I didn't. Uh, know. I don't know if that explains the fishing I, hat. I now understand. Um, yeah, and and my pickup truck out there did get a truck vibe earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's that's totally fair. That's uh, yeah, that's <laughs> the the glasses oh, and the pickup truck. That's that's this is me like being a hipster there, and that, then I had to be a hipster here too. That, so I was like, I gotta get a pickup truck and wear hats. Well, that's the thing about Portland. I feel another another tweet that I found that I was like, you know, when I was coming to Bridgetown Comedy Festival once, yeah. I was like, I'm at the airport and I'm seeing a lot of people with beards, and I'm like, oh man, they might all be comedians. Or or actual lumberjacks, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that there's, it's truly, Im- I think, impossible, I mean, for me at least, maybe if you live here, you learn to detect the difference, but mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, is that one, is that real? Is that one, like, a real person who's wearing that flannel for a reason, or, you know, puts on the hat? Like, I used to have this joke uh, before before the pandemic, I, uh, and 
I say that for a specific reason, but <laughs> I used to tell this joke uh, about how whenever I saw a guy with a mustache, I would think, is he joking? Because whenever I have a mustache, I'm joking. Like, <laughs> I've almost, I've still, like a Halloween costume or it's just in between shaving the whole beard off and being like, look at this, isn't this? Anyway, I'm not gonna, but during the pandemic, uh, at one point I did that and I showed my girlfriend the mustache and she's like, that mustache actually looks good. So for a little while, I had finally a legitimate mustache and uh, at one point I was telling that joke years ago mm. and I was like, whenever I see a guy with a mustache, then I saw these two gigantic guys with clearly very non-ironic mustaches in the front. Yeah. I was like, whenever I see a guy with a mustache, I think, uh, great choice. Anyway, next joke. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I forget what I was saying, but yeah. uh, hey, we're well, really fellers. <laughs> Thumbs up. Must, two mustaches twirled up. But uh, yeah, so truly you could, you know, maybe you are, maybe you had a truck. Maybe you're just like, I look like I have a truck. Like maybe I have a truck in quotes. Yeah. Uh, like there's a lot of quotes going on. Like that's, the, I feel like Portland's like, you can be completely sincere or you can be just like one level or as many levels removed but i like it you're you like you can be as full of shit as you want to be <laughs> yeah. in this fucking place but you and you can be as as empty of it as it you want empty. and it makes a lot of sense that you're like meta i don't i'm like oh that should have been a clue for me i'm like this guy's a real truck guy <laughs> <laughs> it's like meta humor i don't get it i want you to just go straight to the point <laughs> i like it spelled out i don't know how to spell but i want it spelled anyway <laughs> that's good so yeah oh thank you so yeah in the truck community there's a term called pavement princess which is where a truck guy puts his truck on big dumb wheels and then never takes it off a of pavement ah. like he, he jacks it up so it's got a 10 feet of clearance but he'll never drive it on a dirt road my goodness and so our our question and i i have an inkling of the answer based on the rest of our conversation are these shoes going to be a pavement princess or are you blowing the back out of them? Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to blow every side of them out. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> For sure. Go. The Definitely, probably the front. Yeah. This is our Whoa. blow what? the back out music. <laughs> 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 that sound drops. We got, oh. it. we got the nice soundboard in here. People ever just start freestyling over it? Yeah. Pretty good oh, beat. It is. Uh, <laughs> we... Whose beat is that? It's some. It's an actual. Know. It's an actual beat from. An but we just song. like looped it. It's like part of it. Oh. Uh, with nice the, with the bed. Well, th thank you for asking. Well. And also, <laughs> it's funny that I, I, as you may have, I'm, I'm not going to make you guess, mm -hmm. but as you might have guessed, I had not heard the term pavement princess. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I also will tell you this. Furthermore, I had not heard the term truck community. Truck community. <laughs> there is a truck community. I believe it. There's it's, all it's, kinds. It's bigger in Montana than it is in New York City, <laughs> I, I believe. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's representatives everywhere, but I would say it's just harder to drive a capita. truck in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah the, the, you guys pay like 800 a month for a parking spot and they don't fit trucks <laughs> so <laughs> no the some of the streets don't fit trucks yeah yeah that's totally fair no they're they're Thank impractical you. oh yeah it cost me 90 bucks to put gas in my truck the oh, other my, day oh my and god and i was sad but yeah i still, I still like haven't it. put gas in my car oh cool <laughs> since i bought it what are you a pavement princess <laughs> yeah. I, yeah it's a pavement princess no, no i have he, a hybrid he got um, like plug a plug-in hybrid so. which is ah. it's pretty cool it's a it's a good idea <laughs> <laughs> but uh, better than the ninety dollars that it takes to fill your tank. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, Joanna and I went and drove up a dirt road the other day, mm -hmm. and just because it was worth it. Because it was Cause in front of us, truck. and <laughs> I was like, you know what? I have is four wheel drive, and we just we just went right up there, and it was pretty awesome. You know, just because yeah. we could. <laughs> You know, when the I was, road yeah. was there and we drove <laughs> upon it. Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember hearing the term four four wheel drive for the first time, and I was like, uh. Yeah, that's cars have four wheels and they drive. <laughs> so what are we talking about here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something I don't understand and don't even know to ask the question. Fair enough. <laughs> how are they not all driving? Yeah. That is. Yeah. That's I get it now. Fair point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And we could go into how all wheel drive and four wheel drive are technically not the same thing, but we won't do that. I feel like there's an old I, I want to say Seinfeld joke where or could be Brian. It could be somebody. But yeah. they're like. Truly, I feel like it's al this is almost it verbatim. They're like, what's the difference between four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive? It's the, the spare and the trunk spin around. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like a, that sounds like one of those guys. Yeah. Probably Seinfeld. Yeah, he has that's, that's what I would say. Doesn't he have he has a lot of Porsche cars. that's ever been made? <laughs> he and he's had comedians in them. <laughs> yes, yeah. they had coffee. Yeah. The whole thing. Uh, do you, here's a an old car. I, I really, I'm trying to figure out whose joke this is because mm -hmm. I, I got, speaking of cars, I'm yeah. glad, happy to be here on this car podcast. Um, <laughs> the Sometimes there's shoes that are called vans. That's nice. Uh, so 
there I had this cassette tape back when that was like the thing that made sense to do. Yeah. Uh, and it was like jokes about cars. It was by stand ups. It was all it was like a melange or like a medley, you know? Okay. Uh, and I remember there was like a Seinfeld joke on it about mm. cars. And so that's why I think this one was not a Seinfeld joke. Because I remember the Seinfeld one and I remember this one though. I was like, Oh wow, this is a good joke and I wish I knew whose it was. So I'm like just trying to go yeah, I don't tell yeah. it on stage, but I'm just like going on podcasts and being like, <laughs> Does like, anybody hey. know that have you seen this joke? Do you know this joke? Joke? Whose joke is Slide this? Is this PM. your joke? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so the joke is, uh, I was driving and I saw a sign that said "bump ahead," and then a little while later, there was a sign that said "bump," and a little while later, there was a bump. And I was like, if you know where it is, why don't you fix it? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that joke in a special, and I <laughs> oh. don't know who it is. Oh man, uh, is that Mulaney? The, it, it could it be. It seems like is, a Mulaney joke. I think. It, I think bit. the album was from before Mulaney. Oh. I think okay. he was, but a a wee a wee. I mean, weer than Sorry. even he is now. <laughs> he's old, he's still wee. Mm. But uh, that that honestly, I I thank you for saying that because even if it's yeah, even if no, it's I can not confirm that that's a joke. This is the real. closest I, I've ever come. I've heard that joke. <laughs> do you know? Do you, have you guys listened to the podcast Dead Eyes? No. I have not. Are, are you familiar with it? Huh. Oh, it's it's pretty. Uh, it started I think maybe three years ago, and it has. It may have concluded that like the third season is over and they say they might come back for a fourth. But the the premise is this comedian actor named Connor Ratliff, 20, 21 years ago, uh, I think 2001, the, the TV show Band of Brothers came out right. produced mm -hmm. by Steven Spielberg. And he auditioned for it. He was newly out of uh, acting school and he got a, he he was cast uh, as, as a very small part, uh, a couple lines in one episode to be directed by Tom Hanks. And he was super excited. And then the day, I think the day before he got costumed, he got a haircut for it. The day before he was to shoot, I believe, uh, he got a call from his casting agent. They were like, can you come in? Because Tom Hanks saw your video, your audition video. Yeah. He has... Uh, some reservations. He thinks you have dead eyes. And he had to go re-audition for Tom Hanks and then got uncast. He got fired what? by Tom Hanks, the nicest man his in eyes? show business because of, as far as he knew, his dead eyes. So he has now at least three seasons of this podcast where he's trying to get to the, like serial style, but I'm for a low stakes thing. I'm that Tom Hanks is the nicest guy ever. I mean, at, I, between this and and the song White Boy Summer, well, I have huh? my reservations. Listen, listen to the, the podcast is funny and meaningful right. and beautiful. And my, I guess my point is, I might start a, a similar podcast mm -hmm. searching for the origin, the comedian who told that <laughs> joke, oh. and you are my first guest. All right. <laughs> the first person who's ever thought that joke was familiar. Yeah, no, that's a real joke. 100% that I... <laughs> I think it's like, yeah. I, I, oh, absolutely. I guarantee yeah. I've heard that joke. I've even searched for... Like, I don't know where the cassette is anymore, yeah. and, but I tried looking online and, like, you know, Googling my those best, phrases. My best guess, based on the fact that it's older than John Mulaney and that it was on a cassette, yeah. would be Carlin. Because I, I had, like, 20 Carlin CDs when I was ah. a kid and listened to them, like, all the time. It could... Like, that yeah. was my first comedian that I did a deep dive on when sure. i was like 20 it's or some shit so like absolutely plausible i would yeah that would be my best guess my only doubt is that i think at the time i had heard of carlin and if it, it also was doesn't him seem like a carlin joke because there'd be something in there about about something <laughs> yeah i i think that if it was carlin i would remember that it was carlin so i think it yeah. was somebody yeah. whose name i didn't know at the time and that didn't yeah, Carlin, he he would so. be angry that that yeah. uh, he he oh, would use yeah. it to prove that that there wasn't a god. He's yeah. like God would have fixed the problem. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything I I love the question at the end of your podcast. So I'm mm. kind of stealing it. Right oh, okay. uh, is well, there are, anything well, actually, that you didn't get to talk about? If I might, if I if I may, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say that I don't think that you're stealing. Uh, my my idea number one yeah uh, the question that I ask at the end at the end of my podcast is usually uh, as you know for your listeners to be clear I'll say like is there anything that we didn't get to talk about as much as you would have wanted to or at all something that might be like sort of a glaring omission uh, and so I I appreciate your yeah. number one it would be <laughs> it would be stealing it theoretically if you were like 
not if you didn't reference, <laughs> didn't reference. if you were like the way we always end our podcast, <laughs> our idea, <laughs> nobody else does this. Like so, just to be answer the question, and that's all. Uh, so what? But I think what you're doing yeah. is. Uh, in one way, perhaps an homage, you know, uh, it's it, it's appreciated. In another way, I would say, in a way, it's kind of a, a callback. A callback. <laughs> oh. oh, oh and I that's, a, I think, so a callback much. to the concept of a callback. Oh, I'm Nick, I'm very sorry, because I think that's a little meta. <laughs> Get that's back to this liberal-ass <laughs> meta shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the I didn't wear a fucking fishing <laughs> hat. <laughs> Have these people with fancy degrees hey, tell me <laughs> shit about meta. <laughs> you, you know what's funny? Uh, because... I love the idea that conservatives don't like meta things and liberals yeah. do because here's the thing is my understanding is of here's a, a beautiful thing I saw once mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter uh, a weird sentence that's never been said <laughs> but uh, the I think it was this guy I follow named Julius Goat uh, I think that's his name on Twitter he's the best he, he, Julius uh, the best of all Julius time. there best is yeah Julius. really yeah. good <laughs> better than Orange better than Caesar yeah, yeah. dude yeah. fuck uh, every mall dude yeah. this, this guy's where it's at <laughs> And but he is he's really smart and funny. And I if this isn't him, it's somebody like him and or he says things like this. Like, here's one that I, I'm pretty sure was his. Uh, he says uh, like he's, you know, has some political thoughts that he shares mm -hmm. from, I think, a progressive perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he says uh, he's like, you know, uh, meet me in the middle, says the unreasonable man, the reasonable man takes a step forward the unreasonable man takes a step back and says meet me in the middle and then <laughs> so that and but this one the one that's relevant to right now is uh, oh yeah the idea of conservatives compared with progressives is like he's like i would love to be a conservative when there is when there is like equity in society that is worth conserving like that's what <laughs> conservating conservative conservatism conserving yeah. is about like keeping what and if if there's good stuff it's good to keep that good and there yeah. is some good stuff and yeah. that you know there's obviously like the people if you are a conservative like you're like yeah i want to keep the good stuff and a progressive is like i want there to be progress for the people who don't have the good stuff that right. the people who have the good stuff have and once we progress he's like i once we progress enough <laughs> as a progressive a, as a progressive society then i would love to conserve so in the context <laughs> of like if conservatives like uh not meta stuff and like only straight at, and liberals like but it's funny because meta stuff is like stuff about the stuff and that's yeah. kind of con it's just like <laughs> conservative it's like but just just give me the stuff the stuff this stuff 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 stuff, stuff. No, you heard it new first <laughs> <laughs> meta humor <laughs> It's meta great. humor is is a right wing <laughs> medium, and if you enjoy meta humor, if you enjoy meta humor, oh my what God. can I tell you? Oh, so I guess uh, yeah, I think we've said it all. I think so <laughs> my yeah. brain hurts. Uh, <laughs> like, I was following. Mine doesn't I at all. I didn't. I just yeah. said, uh, I glazed uh, over. Yeah. yeah, you know, I You're stayed like, strong. When are we? When are we starting? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when are we gonna start? Oh, all right. right, so uh, when uh, so people can find you, tell us where they can find you. Oh, and thank you. Everything. Uh, so as you already said, of course, if you're in the Portland area, yeah. uh, Helium this Sunday, also the Seattle area, Friday and Saturday. Nice. Um, and uh, yeah, my my website and social media are all my name spelled the weird way I spell it: M Y Q K A P L A N. My podcasts that have already been referenced are, of course, <laughs> Broccoli and Ice Cream and The Faucet, both with Cat theme songs yep. uh, do check out of course uh, all the other comedians I mentioned Shane Moss Zach <laughs> Sherwin Ramin Nazer etc uh, and then maybe get uh, but before we do that uh, check out everything that I've ever done yeah uh, <laughs> I'm uh, I've got a bunch of albums out the most recent one's called aka I'm very happy with it I'm proud of it and uh, you can find that and most uh, most all my other stuff on uh, the various platforms where they live so yeah, search for Mike Kaplan, spelled my way, yep. and uh, you'll find. Oh yeah, and also I've got a newsletter that I put out every week for free, full of uh, some jokes, and then you can subscribe for more if you want. Uh, and it's at mikekaplan.substack.com. Awesome. Nick, you want to take us out? Sure. Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead, hit that like button. Subscribe to us. We're on Apple. We're on Amazon, Spotify, all those. I think we got video on YouTube, Amazon, and Spotify, right? Yep. Yeah, so you can you can watch our videos, you can listen to us, we're everywhere. You can find us on social media, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at Size Ten Podcast. Bjorn, where are your shows at? Oh, I have a weekly show at uh, 
Neighbors Tap Room, eight o'clock. It's called Bangers Comedy. Uh, Mike, you're invited. It's fine if you don't show up. But it's at it's eight o'clock every week. Every week on Thursday. Oh, okay, you that's can just come yeah. by. You know, it's <laughs> very a great nice. Spot. Um, yeah, and Mike, thank you so much for being on the podcast, mm. man. It was awesome. Thank you, you for having me. All right.